surely there should be safeguards for this. I worry because they shuttered or basically got rid of 4.0 was because of the sycophancy, it was because of the agreeableness, it was because of some people getting into relationships and going down a spiral with the particular models. They seem to have introduced that back again. That's what adding the personality back in might mean. So if they haven't also added safeguards to protect people, we're going to end up in this same loop, this same spiral. Something will happen. Somebody will probably lose their life and it will be blamed on ChatGPT. And then there will be a tightening of the safeguards and people complain because there's too many safeguards and it will just loop back and forward. There's talk, I uh, don't know if this is going forward, but in December, adding age gating to ChatGPT. So anyone, basically all users will have to provide age verification. And if you are under 18, it will restrict what you can use um, ChatGPT for. I haven't seen anything practical about that. When Sam Altman put out a tweet saying we're going to add age gating, it felt to me like a pushback against Gavin Newsom. The governor of New York had pushed through some bills about protecting kids online. And it felt like Sam Altman was petulantly saying, OK, fine, we're going to age gate everybody if that's what you want. You want to limit freedom. But I haven't seen concrete plans, but that's happening in December.